Hello and welcome back to another Hope and Achieve flip through. This is gonna be for the month of May. The birds chirping in the background. That was on cue. But anyway, let's jump right into it. Usually for my selfies at the first of the month, I have been using my Polaroid zip, but I ran out of paper and I just didn't feel like buying more. <laughs> So I've just been printing out my photos from my Canon printer. I mean, look at the quality. My hair is so shiny in this photo. The only thing is that there's some problems with my black ink, so see a little bit of streaks, but that's okay. And yeah, just put some stickers here. When it says, enjoy the ride, trust yourself, joy, grow, grow, grow. So if you're new to my Hobonichi flip throughs, I always go to Pinterest for inspiration. So if there's quotes that I write or gentle reminders, poems, stuff like that, 98% of the time, it's gonna be from Pinterest. I do write some of my own thoughts in here too, but if they're quotes, they're usually from books, Pinterest, and that's basically it. <laughs> so for the first of May, I found this really good reminder and it says, your work matters. Every day that you show up, even when it's hard and when you don't feel like it, you are making a difference. So even on the hard days, even on the days where you'd like to hang back and not show up, remember, the world needs the magic inside of you. Your work matters, your consistency matters, your ideas matter, your presence matters, so keep it up. And then for the background, I use my highlighters, Today's vibe and stickers. That day was cloudy. I was meditating. I had some tea. I wore some cozy socks. I believe I was taking care of my plants that day. And I also got back into yoga, which was very short lived. <laughs> it was very short lived. I think after that yoga session, I just haven't done it in a while. <laughs> and on this page, the background is actually from one of my coloring books I bought for The Artist Way. It was one of my activities. Um, so I really like this page. I used watercolor. It was like from a mandala coloring book. And so I just cut it up to size. And this post-it note I've actually had in one of my notebooks for a while. So I just decided to put it in here. And it says, what's meant to be a part of my journey will never pass me by. So I have this rose taped on one of my shelves. It was just hanging and it was super dry. So I've just been plucking rose petals and taped it on this page. And then I found this quote that says, may the petals teach me the art of letting go by Zan, Zan Oku. And on the 5th of May was a full moon lunar eclipse in Scorpio. The affirmations that I wrote on this page where I release any fears, past hurt, traumas, and insecurities and embrace this present moment. I am open to change and trust the universe to always guide me in the right direction. I create balance and harmony in my life by embracing my shadow side. On this day, I got a new iPhone case from Flaunt. My sister recommended this website to me. So I got the checkered pattern. It's super minimal. It's definitely my style. I love it so much. The positive loop. Number one, observe. Focus on your inner world. Number two, feel. Embrace your emotions. Number three, reflect. Explore where your emotions come from. Number four, act according to your intuition. And number five, grow. Cultivate simple joys. And then repeat. Repeat often. <laughs> I think I wrote this one last year. It says, when you go into that space of stillness, love, peace, and happiness finds you in your purest form. Breathe it, feel it, hear it, smell it, and taste it. Surrender to the magic of the present moment. And then for the background, I did some quick watercolor washes. Um, it kind of looks like a sunset almost. And I believe this is a day where I really started getting into kind of like scrapbooking. So I've been getting a couple of magazines in the mail and this one was actually from the Reformation magazine. I love the nature backgrounds and so I cut this one up to size and then on one of my 
sticker labels. I just drew a girl holding a bouquet of flowers, looking out into the distance. And then I wrote, if it comes, let it. If it goes, let it. So I got this paper from Daiso. What is that pattern called? Like terrazzo? I really love the texture of the paper and the pastel colors. On top of it, I added a couple of stickers. One says reflection. And then I found this quote that says, I disappear sometimes. It's nothing personal. I just like to take some time to reconnect with myself. Unknown. I love adding little peekaboo elements. So just to kind of show like how I disappear sometimes, I have this sticker hiding. <laughs> this quote really speaks to me. You know, as an INFJ, a two four cycle generator, a Pisces sun, I need to be in solitude quite often. <laughs> and people might think like, that's boring. Like, why do you like to be alone a lot? But when you spend time by yourself, you really connect with who you are and you just get to do things that you really love to do. When I do go out and socialize, the next day I need to like be in my space the whole day to recharge and to reconnect with myself, to be more centered and grounded. So if you're an INFJ as well, you understand. <laughs> and on the 11th of May, it was my first group exhibition. I mentioned this in my last open itchy flip through, but yeah, I will leave a link in the cards to that video. I recorded my whole experience of my first group exhibition from beginning to end, and it was such an amazing experience. So yeah, this is me with two of my pieces. Yeah, I won't talk too much about it. I'll just leave the video in the cards for you. So on this day, Maddie left me a note before she went to school. She wrote, hi auntie, can you send me the pictures from your camera later? So I had her take photos and film videos at the exhibition the day before. So she wanted to see all the pictures. So yeah, I airdropped it to her and everything. She did such a great job. I'm so happy to have a niece who's really creative and into photography and willing to help me film my videos. So I love you, Maddie, you're amazing. So I used the same paper from Daiso on this page and then I cut out an image of a model from the Reformation magazine. This whole outfit is something that I would totally wear. Like, oh, I really wanna get a top like this. It's so chic and so minimal, I love it so much. If you guys remember, I did buy a really cute denim skirt from Goodwill. And so I just need something to match with it. Like I definitely want to recreate this whole style. So I put a couple of stickers here and then I wrote, hello weekend. More scrapbooking. So I cut out this image of this bouquet from another magazine and then I ripped up some crap paper, glued it on the page. I wrote happy Mother's Day, put a sticker that says pure love, and then a quote that says, so much of who I am is because of who you are. So sweet. <laughs> and this is also from the same magazine. Loved all the floral images. So I bought some chamomile from Trader Joe's and I put it in my cute vase. And then I cut out some letters from the magazine, spells chamomile. How do you guys pronounce it? <sighs> it's like caramel, caramel. Um, I say chamomile. Some people say chamomile. I don't know what's right, but I'm gonna just say it the way I say it. <laughs> Honestly, like all the scrapbooking on my Hobodichi are on days where I felt lazy to do anything else. <laughs> Because drawing and painting in my pages takes me about like half an hour sometimes, depending on what it is. But I loved scrapbooking this month because it was just so easy, you know? So the magazine that I was looking through, it was focused on weddings because, you know, it's spring and summer, so it's like wedding season. So I just ripped up this piece of a floral arch 
And I wrote a quote that says, I am abundant in all aspects of my life. And then from the same magazine, I found this quote that says, I've learned to accept the chaos of the universe by Natasha Leon. And on this page, I cut out an image of an orchid from the magazine and then a color from the paint strip I got from Home Depot. And I just drew a pair of eyes. On May 19th, it was a new moon in Taurus and the affirmations that I wrote where I feel the energy of opportunity, luck, and abundance. I am manifesting all the good that aligns with my soul purpose. I am aligned with the frequency of my desires. I allow love to fill me. I use the energy of the new moon to manifest abundance and miracles I have been asking for. And Taurus, I think of sleep, beauty rest, self-love, um, Taurus is also ruled by Venus, so love. I mean, I'm a Taurus rising, so all of this applies to me. <laughs> I love to sleep. I love my self-care rituals. I love to eat good food. This one says, talk to me like I'm sacred. And then no matter how unrealistic it seems, it's going to happen. On this day, I wrote a whole gratitude list. I think it was from a prompt. So it said, list a sight, a sound, and a feeling that reminds you that life is amazing. So for sight, I wrote a clean space, sunny days, beautiful plants, butterflies, birds, and delicious food. Sound, birds chirping, my favorite music, rain, ocean waves, and laughter. And then feeling, cozy blankets, hugs, traveling to a new place, bubble baths, a warm shower, reading a really good book, and fresh laundry. And in the backyard, our roses have been blooming like crazy. So I took a photo of it. It's really beautiful. This gloomy weather has been making me feel extra sleepy. Today was the last day of my period, so I did a 30-minute workout by Grow With Joe. It was much needed. And then for dinner, I got a bowl of fried rice and orange chicken from Panda Express. Today I'm grateful for XG's three meals a day, walks around the neighborhood, iced coffee, morning qigong, Charlie's cute dance moves, and green smoothies. And on May 26th, I went to go watch The Little Mermaid. I watched a live action of The Little Mermaid and it was so good. It filled my inner child with so much joy and happy tears. I can talk your ear off about this movie. If you guys didn't know, my favorite Disney princess is Ariel from The Little Mermaid. And so I knew that like when this was gonna come out, I, I wanted to watch it in theaters. It was a lot better than I expected. Halle Bailey made the perfect Ariel, her voice gave me chills. When she first sang Part of Your World, I like choked up because I, I didn't want to ugly cry. I tried to hold it back, but my tears were flowing. I was like, oh my God, this is perfect. And Prince Eric, let me just say, Jonah Horking, mm, he is so handsome. I can eat cereal in his dimples. They are so deep, like whenever he smiles. <laughs> oh my God, like I, I rarely have celebrity crushes, but he's definitely every woman's celebrity crush right now. <laughs> he's like the perfect Prince Eric. Melissa McCartney made the perfect Ursula. Like I love how she added in her humor. She's so funny. The scene with Ariel and Prince Eric in the boat and Scuttle, Flounder, and Sebastian were singing Kiss the Girl. That whole scene with Hallie and Jonah, oh, just the way he looks at her and the way that Ariel told Prince Eric what her name was, was so clever. That was one of my favorite scenes. But yeah, definitely one of my favorite movies of all time. I think the reason why I loved it so much, not because I love The Little Mermaid, but because the cast is very diverse and it reminded me of Cinderella with Brandy and Paolo Montalban. Oh my God. 
gosh, like even till this day, that movie is still my favorite. My favorite Cinderella version. I had a huge crush on Pablo Montalban too. Like he was like the first Filipino actor I saw as a kid on TV, like representation, you know? I can go on, but I must stop there. On this day, I found a photo online and I just sketched it out. It's just like a, outside of a cafe. Um, I wanted to draw the pots of plants and some of the just like wine bottles outside. But yeah, just a really quick sketch. 12 steps to self-care. One, if it feels wrong, don't do it. Two, say exactly what you mean. Number three, don't be a people pleaser. Four, trust your instincts. Five, never speak bad about yourself. Six, never give up on your dreams. Number seven, don't be afraid to say no. Number eight, don't be afraid to say yes. Number nine, be kind to yourself. Number 10, let go of what you can't control. Number 11, stay away from drama and negativity. And 12, love. And then I wrote this quote on a page from a magazine. It says, I think that finding happiness within yourself is the only way to be truly free. And now we have reached the last spread of the month. And I just found a photo, actually no, two photos of this model and I sketched her out. I loved her outfit. And I wrote this quote that says, she preferred most of all to live with flowers and music and to have a book in solitude. That's totally me, guys. <laughs> my vibe. And speaking of books, my favorite cozy activity before dinner, green tea, shrimp chips, and Anna Huang book series. I took a break from reading self-development books and spirituality books because I realized that I'm just like, trying to learn so much, but I'm, I need to actually apply it to my life. And so that's why I've been reading a lot more fiction books. I've been more interested in romance novels, such as me, cause like you guys know, I love watching K-dramas. And so when I'm not watching K-dramas, I've been reading romance novels. And I have been so into Anna Huang's book series, like the Twisted series. What is it, the, the Seven Deadly Sins series? It was like the king of wrath, king of pride. I just like get so attached to characters. I personally love Twisted Lies with Stella and Christian. Oh my gosh. And then King of Wrath with Vivian and Dante. I also enjoy the last book, King of Pride with Kai and Isabella. I loved how Anna Huang has a lot of Asian representation, like Isabella is Filipina and Chinese. That's so rare. It was so fun for me to just read the parts where it was like in Tagalog. Like I was like, wow, I can actually, I can understand this. Um, and just her talking about the different Filipino foods like buko pandan, um, you know, traditional like adobo, lumpia and stuff like that. And you know, talking about her lolo and lola. I currently have the Kindle Unlimited for like two months. So I've been reading nonstop. I think for the month of May, I read five books, which is such a huge accomplishment for me because usually it's hard for me to read even just one book in one month, but there's something about the Kindle. Like I read faster on a Kindle, especially if it's something that's interesting to me. So yeah, like I've read five books last month and it's crazy. All right, that's it for my May Hobonichi flip through. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, subscribe down below to see more Hobonichi flip throughs. And as always, I hope you're having a great day and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.